A well-worn Japanese proverb has it that in Kyoto, people spend their money on kimonos, in Kobe on fancy footwear, but in Osaka, they save their money for food and drink. The best way to understand the side of Osaka is through a good old-fashioned crawl, a slow, prodding, improvised evening of binge eating and drinking that pushes you, your companions, and the city itself to the breaking point. I meet Yuko Suzuki, a friend who was born for these types of high-calorie missions. Not only can she direct you to the city's best place for duck soba, but she can also tell you where the restaurant buys its duck and how it grinds its buckwheat. The night begins in Umeda, the pulsing heart of Osaka, home to a muscular mix of high-end hotels, polished apartment stores, and a serpentine network of national and local railways. By day, the platinum angles and shiny surfaces of the city's most modern architecture houses an army of salarymen fueling the engine of Japan's economy. By nightfall, Umina comes alive with the buzz of a workforce downshifting into an evening of food, drink, and revelry. And so the night begins. Oh, I love cheap and good. Yeah. Cheap and good. I mean, here, down here, it's like all cheap and good. Shin Umeda Shokudogai is a sprawling underground network of tiny bars and restaurants beneath Umeda Station in the north part of Osaka. The dramatic transformation of the post-war Japanese takes place every day between five and six in cities across the country, as salary men and women beeline it from the office to the closest isekai to eat and drink away the sting of the workday. Radakushi Katsu Bar, an Osaka specialty of fried meat and vegetables on a stick, exploring the ancient Japanese ritual of getting drunk with your co-workers. The first one is always the most delicious. <laughs> Shimano Shoten is primarily a sake distributor. The drop down a secret staircase, down to the basement of my dreams, into a tasting room. In the early evening on spools into a liquid road trip. Fukui, Niigata, Kyoto, Okayama, we race our way around Japan, tasting the harvest from every corner of the country, probing the borders with our tiny glasses. Yeah, pace yourself, Masaka. <laughs> you can lose yourself quickly down this rabbit hole of Nihonshu and salty snacks. Mm. Ooh, tea. Which is probably why Shimada closes at 7 p.m. sharp. Even by Japanese standards, this is a massive city, with more than 19 million inhabitants in greater Osaka. The guidebooks aren't wrong. Osaka is not a textbook beautiful city, but a patchwork of skyscrapers and smokestacks, Gucci and ghettos that better approximates life as most of us know it. With all this in mind, it's not surprising that Osaka is a center of casual food culture. There are two famous street staples that can sustain a city with Osaka's voracious appetite for mischief. Okonomiyaki and takoyaki. But not all Osakans like their street food on the street. Behind the long, polished wooden bar at Takoriki, Junya Suzuki stands sentinel as a takoyaki shokunin, a man who dedicates his life to perfecting this one narrow craft. Cold bubbles and hot balls of octopus make unlikely bedfellows, but like basement sake and blowtorch tuna, it just works. The little clouds, like they're barely almost levitating over this plate, you know? Like, I never thought, all I think about when I think of takoyaki is like this. Okonomiyaki and wine. Yeah. Okay, okay. It's a Saka style. It's, oh, it's wine. I can dig on that. A dream meal here begins with sticks of crispy pork belly, rolled an egg and then moves on to one of Koala's outlandish okonomiyaki. Normally, this geologic construction of cabbage, egg, and carbohydrates is laced with pork belly or shrimp or squid, but at Koala, the options range from scallop to foie to shirako, cod sperm, that rare winter delicacy celebrated throughout Japan. Naturally, we go for shirako. You take that mentality of like perfect product and perfect technique, but free imagination, and like this is what you get. Yeah. This is where you're super Enjoyable. happy. Osaka is all about yeah. that. The restaurant is called Koala because the owner looks like one. But he has the moves of a technician on the tepan, the hot griddle at the center of this restaurant and the center of Osaka's food culture. The little water splashes, the wrist flicks, the temperature checks below his lip, all are signs of a master at work. 
ありがとうございます。I like how our crew is just growing as the night goes on. More you go, you just have more people with you.、I've, it's always happening in Osaka. Like you start off with two, you become four, you end up with twelve. Sugie represents the best of tachinomi, literally drinking while standing, a style of eating in tiny, high-impact spots that turn Osaka into a movable feast. Sugie serves horomonyaki, an Osaka specialty focusing on offal and other offcuts left behind by most restaurants. How does the taste of the stomach evolve as you go from the first to the second to the third to the fourth? Just totally different, like from the first to the fourth. The first stomach and the third stomach. The upper intestine and the lower pieces of heart and cheek and liver, all dressed in a mix of yuzu chili paste and good times and free flowing nihon shu. This is the beauty of Japan: it builds a set of beliefs and perceptions during the day, only to destroy them once the sun goes down. Rigid, reserved, formal. Find a table, fill it with food and beer and new friends, and watch as all those stiff postures slacken. Fueling this metamorphosis is Toyo-san, chef and owner of this beautiful mess. In Osaka, where eating is a sport and rules are made to be blowtorched, Toyo-san is a hero. Real deal, glazed in soy, glistening beads of salmon roe and tongues of uni meant to be stuffed into crispy sheets of nori. And of course, that tuna tataki, toasted and glazed in ponzu and tossed with a thicket of spring onions. Yes. Been waiting for this moment. For like... <laughs> You're gonna get crazy. Pepanyaru. Here we come. As I climb the stairs to our last stop, I realize that I've been to this place before. <laughs> <laughs> That night ended in a blur of whiskey shots and air guitars. Somewhere, my parting words was a promise to return soon. Walk into a bar with an open mind and a wide smile, and someone might buy you a drink and ask you how your day's been. It might not always be true. Doors or walls here too, but everywhere you will see little slivers of light. The only thing to do is step into it. Do that, and Osaka will never let you go. Arigatou gozaimasu.